In this video, we will show what a cloud assignment looks like from the student perspective. Here I am logged in as a test student. Your student would then click on Assignments, and then click on the cloud assignment. The very first time they do this, they will need to authorize with Google. After the first time, they will be able to skip this step. Now that they have authorized their Google account to sync up with Canvas, they are now able to see the assignment that I created as a template for them in Google Drive. You'll see that it loads right here on the Canvas page, or they can click this link to have it open in a new window. Once they have finished their assignment, they can close this window and then click Submit. I will now hop over to the teacher side so you can see what that looks like from the teacher perspective. I am now back in my teacher account. I'm going to click on that same cloud assignment and then click on SpeedGrader. You can now see that the student's submission is showing up here in SpeedGrader where I can grade it and give feedback. I can also use the annotation features that come with SpeedGrader. I am back in the student account to show what it looks like if they submit it multiple times. You can see here they have a timestamp of when they submitted it the first time. Now they can make other changes and then click Submit again. Again, they could open this in a new tab if they wanted or work right within this window. Once they click Submit, you'll see that the timestamp is updated. Now I'm going to hop back over to the teacher view to show what that looks like. You'll see now that I have a drop-down of submissions, so I can look at all of the submissions for this assignment for this student. The nice part about cloud assignments is they not only live in Canvas, but they also live in the student's Google Drive. After they open the assignment, it saves it to their Google Drive. Canvas automatically creates a folder called Blue Valley Schools, and then any course that has cloud assignments, it creates a folder and saves their cloud assignments there so students can easily access the document either through Canvas or their Google Drive.